Hello, Marie Curie. How are you? Hello, I'm fine. Anxious about this interview, and I'm so happy because you're going to learn lots of things about me. Yes. So we are going to start with the interview. First of all, what is your full name? My first name is Maria Salomé Asclodeusca Curie, but everybody calls me Marie Curie. Oh, interesting. So tell me a little most, a little bit about your life. I was born the 7th of November 1867 in Warsaw, Poland. My father was a high school teacher in physics and mathematics. My mother was a teacher, pianist and singer. I had three older sisters and one brother, but a thing that marked me in those times was the death of my mother due to tuberculosis and also the death of, my, of one of my sisters, Sophia, due to typhus. When this happened, I questioned my Catholic faith, and I became agnostic. That's very interesting. And how was your school and study times? When I was 10 years old, I attended my first school. Later, I moved to a school for girls. Sometime later, I was diagnosed with depression, so I spent a year in the countryside with my father's relatives. And later, in the year 1885, my father gave me some tutoring. I couldn't go to a higher education for the fact of being woman, so with my sister Bronislawa, we entered a clandestine floating school that admit female students. Finally, I enrolled at university a scholarship and got a degree in physics in 1983, and one in mathematics a year later. I started my career only studying the properties of steel, Oh, you had a hard childhood. Tell us, tell us your discovery. Of course, I've discovered two new elements called barium and polonium, starting the investigations with the study of radioactivity. This was one of the most important discoveries around the world because it was fundamental to the study of atomic structure of matter with the applications of medicine and other disciplines. Did you have any problems during the, the, the research? Yes, one of the main problems during this investigation was that the concentration of the polonium and radium in the peach blender was minuscule, so I had to treat tons and tons of these minerals. In, what was the main origin of your discovery? The origin of radioactivity is because the atoms that make up matter are usually stable. Interesting, and why do you think that, it's, that it was a good discovery? that it was a very good discovery because it was going to be very useful for the future and part of the studies of medicine. Nowadays, thanks to the discovery of radioactivity, we have lots of necessary inventions. The majority are in medicine, for example, radioactivity is part of the treatments against cancer, or just to see through our body, like radiographies. One thing that I consider very interesting is the death of Marie Curie. Due to the fact that she spent most of her life studying radioactivity, she died as a radioactive person. That is harmful. Her remains are in a lead tomb because of this.